Get, get chilled, chilled with Patriot, Patriot Ice. Ice. We are located at 171 South Frontage Road, 775-727-6561. Looking to get away this weekend? Here's Park Ranger from Death Valley National Park to tell us all about how you can get your own private tour to Scotty's Castle. Everyone knows this place as Scotty's Castle, but in truth, Scotty never owned it. Scotty was a con man who claimed to have a gold mine out here in Death Valley. He used the scary reputation of this place to get his investors to give him money, believing that they were going to get gold from his gold mine in return. After two years of investing in Scotty, a man named Albert Johnson came out to Death Valley in the early 1900s to inspect his gold mine. That was a big problem for Scotty because he didn't even have a dry hole in the ground to show him. He was just using this place's scary reputation to keep people away. So what Scotty did is he arranged for his brother and his two friends to help him by pretending to be bandits, pretending to be, attack the wagon train where Scotty and Johnson were. This was 1906 as they were coming into Death Valley. And they hid behind some rocks. They were shooting their guns down at Scotty and Johnson. They were just supposed to shoot high in the sky, but possibly due to too much whiskey, they actually shot one of Scotty's brothers in the hip. And that's when Scotty stopped pretending to shoot back at them, put his gun down and said, stop shooting, you fools. You shot my brother Warner. And then the bandits came down and apologized. And so the rich man, Albert Johnson, realized at that point, there was no gold mine. This man that was his business partner arranged for these other people to shoot at him. He could have been killed. Any normal person would have been really mad at this point maybe shot back themselves, maybe got the law involved, but the, our story gets really weird at that point. Albert Johnson was having the time of his life out here in a Wild West gunfight with a cowboy trained by Buffalo Bill that had worked in the Wild West show. That was Scotty. And so he went back to his home in Chicago, didn't tell anyone that he had been <laughs> lied to, and kept sending Scotty money. He then Albert Johnson started bringing his wife, Bessie Johnson, out every year or two to vacation here in Death Valley. And eventually, they gave up the charade of a gold mine, built this vacation home, and Scotty was their personal entertainer. So that is the story of Scotty's Castle. Scotty's Castle is still closed while we are repairing damage done by a flood that happened in 2015. We hope to be fully back open by the end of 2025. But in the meantime, People can come on limited tours Sundays only through early April by signing up at dvnha.org is the website to sign up for those once a week tours only on Sundays to see the construction happening, to learn about the story, and to see the castle and learn about the history.